All right, folks, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. This is a, this is a new thing that we're trying out uh, for 2018, blogging, uh, video blog, which they call a vlog, which I'm not going to call it that. Uh, video blog. Um, little, it's a good way for me to get to know you, and you get to watch me stumble over my words and be completely confused about everything I'm trying to tell you. Uh, but I uh, wanted to get to get the word out about what we do and how we do it and how we're a little bit different than uh, uh, your typical DJ service. Um, what do we say? My name is Steve. Uh, DJ Scuba Steve is the stage name. Uh, so you can kind of imagine where that came from. If you don't know Big Daddy, I suggest you uh, look it up because every person that uh, was named Steve after that movie came out, it became Scuba Steve. So, uh, you know, you throw a DJ in front of it and maybe you can make some money and uh, help some people along the way, uh, which was the uh, the entire intent uh, at the beginning. Uh, the DJ career started for me, just so you have some backstory, in 2006. Uh, prior to that, I was a videographer. Uh, still am. Uh, we shoot video all the time and we shoot weddings and have a good time with that and help people, uh, you know, celebrate and remember the special times that happened uh, on, uh, on their special day. So... Started off with the video and then transitioned into the DJ uh, work with several companies here in the Chattanooga area. Uh, worked for them for about three years or so. About 2009, I decided it was my turn uh, to take off and just kind of do my own thing. Uh, and since then, it's uh, it's been a roller coaster. It's been a lot of fun, uh, just helping people celebrate special moments, uh, not just weddings either. It's uh, it's just about everything between our uh, our nonprofit entities, the American Heart Association (MDA). Uh, the MS Society. Uh, we've got a lot of partners out there, a lot of people that we like to help uh, with music and entertainment and uh, and make their events fun and make it, uh, you know, I mean, that's the point. I mean, why else are we doing this? Otherwise, it, it wouldn't be a whole lot of fun. But uh, specifically today, I wanted to talk uh, with you um, in our inaugural uh, blog um, about weddings, about what's, what to look for. Uh, there's, there's, there's a lot out there. Um, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't envy a bride uh, in everything that she has to decide uh, between dresses and flowers and venues and and who's in your bridal party and who's not going to flake out and, and and there's a lot on the plate of a bride and a groom who are deciding what they want to do and what they want to have uh, as a part of their special day. It's a lot to consider. It's a lot to go over. And uh, the less complicated that I can make it from my standpoint. Um, is what I want to do. I want to make the stress go away. I want to be that stress reliever so that you don't have to worry about what I'm bringing to the table. We'll go over everything from, from top to bottom, uh, which is what I'm about to go over right now so that you can kind of know who I am, how I get down, what we do. Uh, I got a team behind me that that's awesome. Uh, can't thank them enough for the hard work that they put in. Uh, so when you get a DJ from Merchant Productions, one of our men in black, uh, the Merchant Productions Men in Black is what we do. Uh, I've seen other DJs out there, and they can be flashy, and they have, you know, costumes even, uh, even uh, just very, um, I guess, out there. Uh, and that's not really what we want to do. We want to facilitate the party. We don't want to be the party. We'll get out there. We will lead dances. We will entertain, uh, be, it, be it from mic work uh, or... Uh, the actual music itself, uh, our blending techniques, our DJ techniques on the tables uh, is what we bring to the table. But in addition to that, we come out from behind the booth and we want to coordinate with you. We want to coordinate with your vendors and make sure that your photographers are in the right spot, your videographers are in the right spot uh, for the shots, for something that's about to happen. Uh, essentially, with just any wedding, it doesn't matter what it is or who's DJing or who the band is or, or what entertainment you have lined up. It's all predicated on the music. You can't walk down the aisle of a ceremony without a bridal march, the bride's song. You can't do that. So everything has to happen with the music. Um, same goes for the reception. You can't introduce your bridal party without having some sort of a song. You can't introduce the cake without a song. You can't introduce the first dance or your father-daughter dance or your mother-son dance. You can't do all these things without the music. So people all the time ask, what's the most important person when it comes to events or weddings? And I don't know if it's the DJ, but it, <laughs> it's pretty close. Uh, especially if everything is music-driven, if everything is music-oriented, you get this bridal packet from me, and it has your 
reception music checklist and it has your ceremony music checklist and then it has all of our features obviously everything that we do and everything we bring to the table but if you select those songs those songs are important those songs have to happen uh and if they don't happen um, i mean the entire night is missed now we will get out there and we will make that happen we will have those people there and having a good time to where they talk about your event i mean your event needs to be the one that's talked about and then when the anniversary comes up, I'm like, oh, man, that was a really great party. Can you credit the DJ with that? Sure. Can you credit us with that? Absolutely. But you can also credit yourselves because, A, you made the right decision on who is going to do the entertainment because who does the entertainment, who you consider for that is a very integral piece of what you do. It has to match that personality. It has to match that vibe. And I'll be the first to say, if I don't match your vibe i'll say you know what there's another dj across town that would be perfect for you there would be i'll do that i don't i don't want to actually case in point uh went to nashville uh we do consultations and and, and events all over the southeast nashville atlanta knoxville charleston south carolina is a big favorite for us myrtle beach um anywhere down in georgia alabama uh been as far north as virginia kentucky uh, so different events like that. So we go all over. Uh, and so, you know, we're two hours from Nashville. It's not a big deal to drive up there and have a meeting. Um, and had that situation set up with a bride. And uh, she was in Nashville. She didn't live in Nashville. She was meeting us in Nashville. She apparently had some sort of family connection there in Nashville. And, uh, and that's fine. Um, and she was spending time that weekend. And she asked me, how long will this take? How long will this, this consultation be? I said, half hour tops. We'll go over everything. You'll get all the information. You guys take it. Go make a decision. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And uh, 30 minutes out, she decides that she and her fiance are going to go catch a show. They just, I don't know. They just blew it off. We're 30 minutes out for this 30-minute meeting. And and I felt, I didn't feel slighted. Don't get me wrong. I, I wasn't upset about it. But if she is unable to set aside that kind of time for a meeting of this kind of importance uh, on a weekend, uh, that neither one of us is it's it's neither it's neither convenient for neither one of us Which is fine. Both of us are going out of our way, which is cool. Everybody's good. No problem at all but to take that time 30 minutes away from the meeting and say hey, we're gonna go catch a show instead of meeting with you Maybe we can do a phone call. It's then and there that I knew that that's not the kind of client that was gonna work for us the personalities don't match it was important to me to make the, the meeting. It wasn't important enough for her to make the meeting. So if that's the case, obviously, even, even at the initial meeting point, we're not there. And that's fine. It's, I mean, she's a perfectly fine person. I mean, she's, she's wonderful. Never met her, <laughs> obviously. But she's great, and she's going to go do her own thing. She's going to find somebody, and they'll be great, and they'll, and they'll be the perfect match. I know that I wasn't. So if it comes down to that, the important... I guess the important part is the fact that you get what you need. It's not about me. It's not my day. It's your day. Now, I'll be able to facilitate it for you. I'll be able to make sure that we hit everything perfectly. Your timeline, uh, your dances, all the introductions, everything's going to be done perfectly. But that being said, if I'm the wrong guy for it, then there's no point in even trying. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that's just an example of, of what... I guess how seriously I take this profession, how seriously I take your event. And just a quick rundown, and, and I guess from the top, uh, when we have our initial discussion, email is a, a really a lot better way for me to get in touch with people, for me to explain everything, because it's all laid out. Uh, everything that I'm gonna talk about, you're gonna be like, mm, mm, whatever, whatever he said. Uh, and then you'll actually get the bridal packet, and then it makes sense, it gets everything's right in front of you. Um, our, our largest package is right about 1500 bucks. Um, not going to lie to you. It is what it is. Uh, what we do and how we price it is based on a few things. My family, for starters, what it's going to take to get me away from that, and uh, what do I bring to the table. Uh, you want somebody who can actually hit all those marks. Um, I've always said there's no such thing as a perfect event, all right? There, and there's not. Uh, there's, there's always something that's going to go wrong. There's always something that's going to be... Um, I guess not uh, as planned, 
I guess is the thing. What you want is somebody who can actually roll with that. Uh, and I'm not talking even from my standpoint. Somebody in the catering may make a mistake. Somebody in floral may make a mistake. Uh, somebody within the bridal party may be unruly, unable to control. Somebody may be, you may have a guest that just gets, you know, weird. It happens. It's, it's fine. It, it doesn't have to ruin the day. What you don't want is some professional that's, uh, that, that doesn't know how to deal with that, that doesn't know how to recover. Uh, if, that does, if that guest is out of hand, and, and I'm not saying out of hand as in rude or anything like that, but just, you know, not appropriate. You want somebody who can actually deal with that and can roll with it and, 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 and remove uh, the focal point, take it away from that person who's not doing it right to what actually needs to be happening, whether it's the party, whether it's whatever event, whatever tradition is happening within the reception. Um, so there's a lot of DJs out there that will charge less. And you exactly, this is the number one industry that I can tell you, you get what you pay for. If you want a $500 DJ, you're gonna get a $500 DJ that will sit down during the night, who will sit down behind the booth, who will but just be pressing buttons, who doesn't know how to work the mic properly, who doesn't know how to coach people up on toasts, because that needs to happen. Those coaching techniques, and we'll do subsequent videos about all that stuff. Um, so um, back to the packages, um, it's not just about uh, sound. Sometimes it's about decor. Sometimes it's about the settings. Uh, we do a lot of events here uh, in Chattanooga, and like I said, the whole Southeast. Um, that require just a little bit extra uh, up lighting uh, things like that so with our, our premier package is 1500 you get us for five hours and now that five hours is based on performance time so once I hit play on the first song five hours from then we're rocking and rolling and the music doesn't stop we transition from ceremony to cocktail to dinner to dancing without skipping a beat the only time it goes dead air is if there's a toast and if we make that toast happen um, so and that's the way it should be those vibes have to go through the night. They have to ebb and flow with your audience, and that's what that's designed to do. Uh, in that in that bridal packet, you're going to get, um, I guess within this package, you get the bridal packet. The bridal packet has your ceremony music checklist, your reception music checklist, uh, also has our price sheet. Uh, it also has a timeline for you. Uh, so depending on when we talk, which is sometimes a year out, I've been booked two years out before, so if that's the case, you have checkpoints all along the way of what needs to get done by the time you need, by the time you get to your day. So you work your way back so that you're ready for your day in all facets, not just music, with your florals, your cakes, all that stuff. Everything is just laid out in your timeline. Um, uh, it, within the feed includes the setup and the breakdown. Uh, we also bring dance floor lights. So once the party gets cooking, those are sound activated. So we kick those things on, they'll move with the beat. Uh, we can slow them down, speed them up. If we're doing a slow dance, we're doing a fast dance. Whatever has, has to happen, those lights are going to augment what's happening on the dance floor. In addition to that, you get up lighting. So we'll put eight up lights uh, for your event. What that does, we'll take those up lights and we'll put them on the floor and they'll shine up the walls, right? Um, so depending on what color you want, uh, whatever color it may be, if you've got pink in your, in your wedding, if you've got green, um, it doesn't matter what color you're looking for, we can make that happen. White light is really popular as well because you can use it anywhere. Uh, we can dress up some serious barns <laughs> with some white up lighting. It just makes it look that much better. Um, uh, in addition to that, a photo montage, uh, which is a slideshow uh, of you, the bride, and the groom. Uh, maybe you're growing up. Maybe your engagement pictures. Things like that. Uh, those can be projected either on television or with a projector on a screen. Uh, and uh, makes a really good talking point during cocktail and dinner. What you don't want during dinner is just that waiting. Everybody's just sitting and waiting, and, and they want the next thing to happen. Um, and that's, that's our job. That's what we do. Uh, we keep them from looking at their watch like, eh, it's, it's, it's getting late, we're doing this and that and the other later, blah, blah, blah. We don't want them to look at their watch. They, we want them engaged. We want them there in the moment having a good time with you guys. This is your day, and we want them to celebrate with you. They didn't come see us. However, while they're waiting on you because you're taking your pictures in between ceremony and reception, you want somebody that's going to be able to engage those folks, engage your family who came to celebrate with you. 
And so what we'll do, we'll put that photo montage up and they can talk about it while dinner is happening. And while cocktail and dinner is going on, we're playing music that kind of gives us a feel of what kind of room we have. Now, we'll be playing music that spans all genres. Obviously, it's all going to be clean, radio friendly, right? I mean, you got kids, you got old folks, everybody's there. So everybody's going to get a little taste of the music that they like, whether it's rock, country, uh, R&B, Motown, reggae, all that stuff goes into this melting pot to see who is moving to what. Uh, and that really kind of dictates to us what kind of dance floor we can have later on. Who we're going to have to really work on to try and get on the dance floor. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. And who doesn't need as much motivation? There, there are people out there like me who will dance to anything. I mean, you take me to a club, it doesn't matter. Whatever song is on, I'm on the dance floor. We're going to have a great time. Because that's what it's for. And, uh, and that's what your party should be. That's what your reception should be. It should be a celebration. And, uh, and that's what we want to bring to the table. Um, everything, that's on our, that's on our Saturday that's our Saturday price point right there at that 1500 Any other day of the week, whether it's Friday, Sundays, I know everybody looks for weekends. We've actually got a couple of Tuesday weddings <laughs> booked for 2018. So, you know, I mean, those those prices are actually lower. So you get all that in that $1,500 package. But if you get married on a Friday or a Sunday, it's 1000 And it's just that simple. Um, what we do, we, we bring everything to that uh, to that event, and, uh, and, and you're set. And even at that point, uh, if that wasn't enough, we do a 10% discount if you can pay in full four months out. Pretty simple, right? So 120 days away from your wedding, and you've got the DJ, the lighting, the video projection, whatever, all, all your elements uh, uh, from Merchant Productions are taken care of four months out, including the payment. You're done. All you got to do, is, and, and we'll sit down with all your consultations, whatever you want to do. Anytime you want to meet, we'll sit down, we'll talk about the format. We'll talk about programming. We'll talk about your timeline. We'll talk about your music. We'll talk about your colors. We'll talk about the other vendor that you're having a problem with. No, <laughs> but it, it, that's what we'll do. We have those consultations built into your package, uh, and so you're good to go. So you're looking at me like, hey, Scoob, listen, all that sounds great. It's awesome. It's uh, it's a little out of our budget. We can't really do that, um, and that, and that's fine. Everybody's budget is different. Maybe you don't want all that. Maybe you just want somebody behind the wheels, somebody in the booth that knows what they're doing, that doesn't miss cues, that doesn't miss announcements, that doesn't miss when these special moments are supposed to happen. Because you only get one shot at it. You only get one shot at it. And if you're not confident that your DJ can actually hit that moment every time, that's not your DJ. That's not who you want. So if music is the only thing you're interested in, fine. We'll go with our no frills package. No frills package really focuses on the music. You actually get an extra hour, six hour package. Uh, and it's only $900, but it focuses on the music. You get the DJ and you get the dance floor lights, those sound active lights that really club the place out. There you go. You're good to go. Um, and, uh, and we're off and running. So however, whatever kind of budget you have, we can customize a package. Um, some receptions are super low key. They had destination ceremony, right? So they get married in Florida, but they're coming back here because their family lives in Chattanooga, Nashville, Knoxville, Atlanta, wherever. So the reception is going to be taking place here. Um, and maybe it's a little bit lower key. Well, we can custom build a package from there too. So it just depends on what your needs are. Um, what you need to understand from our standpoint is this is what we do. This is my full-time job. I don't do anything else. So, I mean, if the phone needs to be answered, I'm here to answer the phone. If you need to shoot me an email, shoot me a text. It's all available. It's 9 to 5, obviously, but this is what I do. This is where I am. And my focus, my drive, is to make sure that you have the memorable event that you wanted. They always say the brides dream about this since they're little girls. So maybe that's true. I don't know. I've never been a little girl. But if that's the case, if that's your dream, even if you've just been dreaming about it since your engagement, that's worth taking seriously, and that's what we do. Um, I know I, I probably sound super serious right now, but it's so much fun. It's so much fun because it's planned out perfectly from day one. So all your questions are answered, all your, your, your concerns are taken care of, and you don't have to worry about anything except, you know, well... Nothing. <laughs> Everything is taken care of. You got your groom, you got your bride, you got your DJ, you got your cake, you got your flowers, you got your dress. 
got your venue, everything is taken care of. So all you have to do, all you have to worry about is having a great time that night. And, uh, and that's what we want to do for you. So that's basically merchant productions in a nutshell. Now, obviously we offer other services, the videography packages, um, uh, our lighting packages, monograms, bistro lights, all those things are on the table. All those things are available. And, and once we, once I meet you and we can sit down and talk, uh, we can figure out what meets your needs what meets your budget uh, and uh, what's going to meet your personality uh, especially that's really the most important and uh, once we get to know each other we'll know what to do with it well thanks guys this is uh, the first blog so I hope you've enjoyed it uh, like and subscribe below uh, and uh, there'll definitely be more to come uh, looking forward to a uh, bridal party 101 uh, kind of a wedding learning uh, series that we're going to go through uh, in addition to that, coming up soon, we're going to have a documentary uh, about local DJs and what it takes to do what we do. Uh, so hopefully you'll tune into that, and I'll let you know when that actually drops. So until then, next week. Uh